This is the Violent Professional Podcast. I gotta get another one of these mics. Mm. Not these. These oh. are these are <laughs> these mics. These are hot garbage. Hot garbage. Hot mics. garbage. So how was your guys' New Year? So that really it was weird. Good. It was I good. was like breathing in and out at the same time, and then like how the fuck I do you know. do that? It's weird. It's a fucking sc- breathing in through my nose <laughs> and out through it. my mouth. Okay, yeah. got it. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> How was your guy's fucking New it was, Year's? It was good. I, I went to Dan's house, and he Who's Dan? Asleep. Daniel. I know, Dan. but... My brother's... I went to my brother's house. <laughs> That's His brother's Dan. Daniel. My brother Dan. Daniel. Went to his house, and he passed out at, like, 1045. Mm-hmm. So I took weird videos of him and posted yeah. them to the internet. It was pretty funny. Sweet. Was, good he time. All, was he all hammered? Oh, yeah. He was hammered. Mm-hmm. Sweet. That's usually, usually the standard. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, guy. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I played video games with you. That's right. And your girlfriend was, oh, <laughs> she's just not listening. No, she wanted to hang out with you. And you were playing video games with me. Yeah. I don't understand that. <laughs> I told you you had to get off as I was getting lit. As oh, book. he was getting off. What is What game were we playing? Call of Duty. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. You fucking, I, I didn't even say that we're recording it. He's. I guess it's because I started talking like I'm a podcaster now. You're, you're <laughs> I was weird. like going, motherfucking tits. And I was like, hey, guys. So well, hello there. what? So we were playing uh, Warzone, mm-hmm. Call of Duty Warzone. Mm-hmm. Um, what is your current loadout that you use to fucking smash, s- sort of smash fools? Uh, the Scar, that's it. Scar? Yeah. It's just to sort of smash fools. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we were Fennec bros. I thought that's what we were doing. Well, yeah, I keep a Fennec. <laughs> I keep a Fennec on me for the I haters. I keep it on my side. <laughs> clap them fools. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm rocking a Fennec. I maxed that shit out almost. I'm almost at that fucking mm-hmm. suppressor you have, which yeah. is the, a- what is it, the Apex or some shit? Yeah, ZLR Saber. Cool, yeah. 18 inch. It's fucking dope as shit. Uh, Shred people. <laughs> I like, <laughs> I like. Um, we're just warming up. Like, <laughs> we're just talking. Everybody's here like all fucking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're warming up. You like what? No, uh, your strategy of putting C4 on the front of the vehicle, it's, sending it's it right so to the front door. IED, boys. It's so much fun. I, now, yeah. I don't, when I put it on the front of the vehicle, I don't mm-hmm. really give a fuck if I make it to the objective or not because <laughs> it's still fucking hilarious. A lot of the stuff that I that I do in Warzone is, mm-hmm. is for the hilarity in it, like mm-hmm. strapping C4 to a fucking ATV at the mm-hmm. risk they might shoot the front of it and explode me and all of here's, you. Here's a question. If yeah. we put more than one on there, what's <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> is we that going to make the explosion C4? bigger? We have to rig it, rig it, rig it. Someone else. Yeah. Like if we all three had some C4. We should <laughs> fucking try it. Yeah. We'll fucking try Make it, it a massive. <laughs> that's going to, yeah. With an ATV that today? send it right in the uh, front door. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. You got shit to do, don't you? Yeah, like sleep. Yeah, sleep. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. Max rig a fucking ATV <laughs> yeah. with fucking. Man. If Jacob gets on there and be like, dude, switch your shit to, to C4 and just fucking <laughs> load that fucker yeah. up. Because I, there's only a limit of two per person and yeah. then it disappears mm-hmm. or explodes or some shit. But I don't oh, think there's suck. a limit on <laughs> team C4. Just at least four minimum. I've never seen yeah. that. Then I've only time, seen like then you one. you time the explosion, it's going to. Yeah. Boom. I've only seen, like I've put two C4 on anything, like mm-hmm. a door or fucking whatever. Mm-hmm. A door or a floor or a ceiling <laughs> or fucking stairwell or something like that. ATVs. But I've never seen anybody do like a fucking eight charge fucking <laughs> IED emplacement anywhere. <laughs> That'd be awesome. It would be cool just to see a fucking yeah. a, everybody pile it up on the ground and just go. Well, Three, you can, two, you can one, test boo-boo. it. You can test your two by themselves and then see if it maximizes by adding the other ones. That'd be pretty fucking. Yeah, I wonder sweet. if they get triggered. They you just need one person to clack it off too. Yeah, if yeah. if what? Yeah, if one person hits it and they they all just boom. Oh. But you know we've been trying to go for that bunker, that little bunker that everyone tries to get to. Yeah, yeah. I yep. I don't know if that's a new addition or something like that. Mm-hmm. Everybody it likes is. it though. It's all coded now. You don't have to have a key to get in any of those. You don't need a key no. for any of them. No, because so I was doing them just... all last night. I opened up two bunkers. You last looked night at with Google. Codes. Yeah, I, I found it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're There's... not labeled right though. There's one that's yeah. like when you look at them, they're like. Uh, there's a bunker ha- or the the gulag house, mm-hmm. and then there's no co- like there's nothing the online about the into? one to the the neck the actual bunker next mm-hmm. to it. What's that? Is that the one we tried to get into the three of us and and then you fucking no, timed no, out? No. The, there's a there's a gulag house that's to the east of 
the gulag. Mm-hmm. There's a little tiny shack that just has like a fucking a uh, epic weapon or something nice. like that. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what we're that's what we're doing next. We're gonna load up. We're gonna get every everybody's gotta have C four. Mm. Fucking, I'll be the suicide bomber, <laughs> and you gonna pull I'll the drive. We'll load up an ATV and just drive that shit through the door. Jihadi, fucking <laughs> blast it off. Why, why is it gonna be jihadi? Because that's, that's uh, I that's like how. What it is. How many years in the story? Oh, we, could, we could say the IRA, Mike. <laughs> there you go. There, okay. It looks more like an IRA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Army. Um, yeah, that that's uh that's that's a good idea. Yeah, cool. Cool. Go. Cool. Um, we last year. Because I've been looking at the, or looking at, I've been listening to the episodes to find the best of clips. I'm, I'm writing down like a whole bunch of them from each episode, and then I was going to send it to you guys and be like, hey, vote on your favorite fucking clip out of these, whatever. Mm. Um, last year, do you remember the what they did for fireworks at the Space Needle? Mm-mm. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, nothing. It was right? the light show, right? Yeah. Because <clears throat> it was too fucking windy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this year... Did you watch it? No. They had some digital ass Fuck, no, bullshit was fucking laser show? 3D. No, it wasn't a laser show. <laughs> it was basically like I could have done it on my fucking computer. <laughs> yeah. They had um a basically like I don't know if it was a picture or a video of the Space Needle from different angles. Mm-hmm. And then they had all these like 3D images like and the the tower was like had a crop around it, so you could yeah. fucking have the three D image around it, hmm. and then techno music and and because <laughs> why some, not? So some rave DJs yeah, just like uh, I'm out of work, just give me a job, any job. So there Space was here. there was <laughs> like this fucking three D octopus weirdness alien type mm-hmm. of the Kraken probably for the oh, fucking hockey yeah. team, dude. But it just yeah. looks so shitty. Yeah, yeah. This place fucking <laughs> blows. Like, <laughs> Well, they're pussies. I mean, yeah. that's what it's it is. It's pussy to pussies. Yeah. I saw some video. I don't know if this is true or not, but I watched some video of like this chick was in her apartment and mm. she's recording the TV saying, this is bullshit. And it's showing fireworks next to, next to this bridge. And then she goes and looks out her window at the same bridge and there's nothing going on. She's like, this is a fucking lie. So what, I don't know. About if, the, about the fireworks? Like during shit? New Year's, yeah. Mm. Because there wasn't anything. It was that's a 3D fucking, projection. Well, no, it wasn't, it wasn't even Seattle. It was, this was like San Francisco or something. Oh, okay. Shit. Mm. I was like, oh, fuck. So, the, so were they showing it on TV? That it Like was... on the news, it was fireworks going off by the bridge. Yeah. And then she just <laughs> looks outside and she's like, there's no fireworks going on. Fucking silly. But it could have been pre-recorded or something. I don't know. Maybe it happened earlier. Hmm. It's all fucking silly. Like, yeah. fuck it, dude. Yeah. What's up? What's on your mind? I don't want to get into a political thing. Yeah, go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah like, you do. Go ahead. I'm, no, I don't. I don't want to – because I don't, I don't like – I don't mainly I don't like the f- fucking hating on the left so much because like it makes me appear as I'm this fucking conservative republic. You know, we right. talked about that before. Yeah. And I just I don't want to sit there and go put yourself in a fuck box. them because yeah. there's plenty right. of idiots everywhere on all sides, you yeah. know what I mean? It's true. And I like every time I'm like, I don't want to make this political, but fucking. Well, I mean, two things can be true at the same time. You can hate on the left and be just your independent yeah. libertarian. So. Yeah. I blew that out. See, I can't be loud. Sorry, I wasn't trying to interrupt. You got to lean Go back ahead. and be like, yeah. No, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. You know, so I have to figure that out. So you guys hear what happened to Farm Boy and uh, Spiffies? Hit it. What's, what's, uh, what's going on there? Anybody know what's going on with them? Farm boy? It, yeah. They, they had a court date was, for it last week. They, they week. have a court date. It's yeah. next week, right? Uh, or is it tomorrow? Well, no. Farm boy got turned down. They they The judge went and issued an order saying they they were in contempt. Who are you talking to? Me? Yeah, you. Me? Yeah. What they, what you, you know more about contempt? it than I think me and Mark. Well, then I probably need to look it up because that's all I know. <laughs> I was just seeing if you guys knew anything else. Other than Jacob what I knows. Know. Oh, does he? Yeah. Here's Jacob what knows. you can yeah. do. Pull it up on your Google box and then... Fucking tell the world about it since you brought this up. Let me check this audio real quick. It's a little. I want to make. I want to make sure I'm not fucking blowing shit out. Yeah, we're good. As long as I don't yell into it. I'm gonna edit this later, and it's just gonna be like, you will not have sound. It's gonna sound like fucking Charlie Brown. (laughs) I have a much better editing process for all of the audio. Yeah. And I want to go back and take all the old clips and just re. Essentially, right master them. Yeah, and but it's so much. It's not that much work. File professional, digitally remastered. Yeah, <laughs> like I want to do. I'm gonna redo the the 
intro song i'll probably put a new one on here yeah. it'll be my it could be <laughs> um i'm gonna change that because of the changes that are happening i want it to just be the violent professional podcast brought to you by the violent professional podcast you know so i'm gonna Fuck deal yeah. with that i'm gonna mm-hmm. deal with that i'm gonna record that this is taking an awkward, yeah. awkward amount of time up. It's uh, uh, that uh, pause I needed to fucking get the silence well, in the room. Of course, 18 <laughs> hours ago, King 5 is still saying that they're just being held in contempt. By contempt the of what? Uh, what the, you being, can hold anybody in contempt for anything. Well, it's, that's, it's just fucking worse. I hold you in contempt for fucking taking too long. That, that's a thing. It's on the news now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. When people get held in contempt, it's just yeah. a higher power of government saying... I don't like what you did. And well, yeah, yeah. They don't fucking do anything about it's it. It's when you're in you violation of a court order. You have a, a black check order. mark next to your name now. Yeah. Oh, they're <clears> facing <throat> over. Oh, well, this is this. How this. much? So Spiffy's Restaurants gets a court hearing over the COVID restrictions. This is as of six days ago. Uh, Spiffy's Restaurant Chehalis will wait one more week to hear if a judge will uphold a state order trying to force the restaurant to stop serving food indoors. At a Lewis County, are they, are they the one? Not to interrupt, yep. but are they the ones that said put a thing on social media that said we are serving indoors? Oh yeah, no masks, everything. Yeah, I, yeah, I went down there and ate, ate there. It was, it was You're good. part of the problem. I, evidently, I'm, I'm a, I'm a super spreader. <laughs> um, so that's at, not because yeah. of the fucking disease. It's because you get all the ladies <laughs> wet, right? You super spreader. Had a lose. Had a lose. Not that many <laughs> Tuesday, Judge Chris Lancey warned the owner of Spiffy's that he is violating an emergency coronavirus rules and he could be sent to jail. You notice he didn't yeah. say laws. Right, because they're violating so he's not order. violating anything. Right. He's, so, the, yeah, that's the question. <laughs> rules is, are so made what, up. Yeah. So <clears throat> I want to think about this. How could he send him to jail? Is it is it in a way that's like it's not a law that he's breaking, Mm-mm. but could it be like a judge, and I'm just thinking, for not, could it be a catch-all where they're just like, you're not listening to my orders as a judge. You're, I don't think so. I think. So I how think would they fucking do it? The, yeah, only, it's the like, only way they could do something, in my opinion, is if they throw down these eight fines on you, Mike, and you haven't paid any of them yet. So. And then it's like a misdemeanor yes. type Pull of situation. You go for like 30 license. days or yes. something. That's, oh, up to a, that's under a year or something. Well, LNI is getting a lot of heat. days or something. Because I sure as hell wouldn't pay any fines. No. And I guess that's the only way they what can is it? You. How long can they hold you in jail for a misdemeanor? Is it like... Uh, I don't know, dude. Because you can go to jail yeah. for it, right? Um, but it's less than a year because it's not... You're not yeah. going to actual prison at that point. You're just going to like fucking the Nisqually yeah. jail or whatever. Yeah. But these politicians got to understand that like later on down the line, after you spend that four months in jail... Four years from now, when all this shit blows, if it blows over, and you come back and sue the fucking government for that. Yeah, I wonder what's going to happen with that. The, shit. the lawsuits coming from. Oh, there's going to be a fucking Well, ton. maybe I'm ignorant, but I thought the governor's office is immune to civil action. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the there's state a provision. isn't, though. Right. I mean, the government, the, the governor can claim. You know, whatever. this is why you can't sue the president. Like, you know. But I mean, you can sue the United States government. Right. I mean, I don't know. It's crazy. But the judge gave Spiffy's one week before deciding whether the restraining order demanding it stops indoor service is enforceable. So their failure to comply may result in an order or a finding of contempt, which can result in fines and penalties up to two Gs per day. See, so in contempt, they're just throwing down fines. That's it. Yeah, it could include jail time, uh, could include the bringing of charges for a gross misdemeanor amid consequences, Judge Lancey there said. There won't be any jail time, guaranteed. Yeah. I mean, that's, well, it, it just depends. If more businesses start doing what Spiffy's is doing, then they're no, not they're putting not gonna, people in jail you know. for committing crimes right now. Why? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. actual crime. I, I, yeah. So they're going to take somebody who was trying to make money and put them in jail? That, yeah. that doesn't, make, doesn't make sense. Yeah. The gentleman's 81 years of age. He's retired. <laughs> they're not going to put him in yeah. jail. He's, yeah. They're going to. He's at risk. He'll be a martyr is what he'll be. They'll put him at uh, home arrest. <laughs> House yeah, arrest. It's, ridiculous. it's arrest. interesting though. I think like <laughs> LNI is really showing its colors though right now. Who's the the the, the head of the LNI who's doing these press conferences every week about how? Oh, it's John. Well, I don't know. I don't but, fucking know. Yeah, but no, he's got every it's week. It's old Jeff. Old yeah. Jeff. It's Jeff's fault. Um, 
But yeah, they, oh, we're handling the inbound calls and complaints as they're coming through. We're working overtime to make sure that we're, you know, hearing the citizen, the concerned citizens of, you know, the state. I detest L and I. Oh, they yeah. they're the fucking the the most useless organization. They literally have people that are there to to fucking just keep the fucking machine alive. Like yeah. they just, <clears throat> it's the biggest self licking ice cream cone in the fucking Besides state the of IRS. Washington. Yeah. <laughs> so check this out. There's there's a company. Well, I mean, there there's it not. I wouldn't say. You can think about taxes in many ways. Like they yeah. took money from us unwillingly, and the stimulus, and they're giving they're like it's free money, and it's not free money because Fuck it came out of yeah. you. But there, in a sense, there's like I don't even know how to describe how if it's good at all. But there's there's got there's some things about it, like the fact that they distributed stimulus money that was ours anyway, super quickly. You know what I mean? I haven't got mine yet. You haven't? Okay. No. Then my point is fucking moot. God damn mute. Did you get, I got a mute Did point. you get your stimulus yet? Your I got mine. Yeah. I haven't gotten any. I, I checked like the, the status of it, and it says there's no information on mine. I'm like, well, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, there's... <laughs> did the check say from Trump, <clears throat> President Trump, like the last one? No, I just got a fucking oh. deposit. deposit. Oh, it was okay. On yeah, my, the one first day. one yeah. said from President Trump. It was like... Uh, you got a paper check? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, you should have framed awesome. that. You should have took a picture of it. No, I don't. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how I feel about everything. I just I got a lot of thoughts, but um, okay. So put them out. This is what we do here. Yeah, I know. I know. This is uh, microphone in front of your face. <laughs> Strike Force Energy is a fucking fantastic fucking drink. You know, you get that shit and you fucking wake up in the morning. You know, it came in on the fucking Pony Express. You know, Paul Revere himself, if he was alive, he would have brought that shit right into your fucking suck hole. He'd take the fucking pump bottle, insert it into your face, and smash the top so you get that fucking uh, natural flavor enhancer in your body. Now, I don't know if it's natural, but it sure as hell tastes like it belongs in my body. And it should belong in your body, too. So go ahead, go to StrikeForceEnergy.com and use code EVILVIBES at checkout and you get 20% off all of the shit that they have on their store. That includes fucking water bottles to put Strike Force Energy in. It involves hats, cats. I don't know if they sell cats, but they probably, probably should, you know? Get those, f- get fucking as hyped as you can on fucking Strike Force Energy like a cat on catnip, speaking of which. And with, you know, the hustle and bustle of busy life, why would you waste time to go into the fucking gas station or the grocery store to get you a, a fucking energy drink when you could just have that shit on your counter ready to go? You get the, the pump bottle, you get the fucking packets, you squirt that shit in water, boom, you're fucking done and off to the races. Anyway, go to StrikeForceEnergy.com, use code EVILVIBES for 20% off your entire order of Strike Force Energy! So restaurant hit with order fines for COVID violations. Longview, Washington, after a month of serving customers indoor despite state rules. Okay, stuffies. They misspelled stuffies. This is according to AP News. I like that better. Stuffies. They should change it after this. (laughs) Stuffies 2 restaurant of Longview. They should actually fucking get rid of their business. Like close their business, then reopen it under the name name. Stuffies. And they'd be like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Stiffies. I'd call it Stiffies. Under new management, bro. (laughs) Bro. But they're at 126,000 so far in fine so far. They've accumulated. That's crazy. Yeah. How are they going to fucking unbury them? They don't need to. They're not going to do it. You just don't pay it. You just don't pay it. No. What happens on like a uh, government fine level? Is that where the misdemeanor comes from? Where they're like, you're not paying your Once you're operating fines? a business without a business license, because Ellen and I will revoke the license after you operate your business without a license, that's then when they can pursue... But legal, the, legal yeah. action. It's so you don't need a business license to operate a business. It's basically like being a 1040 employee, but you don't have the protection when it comes down to like the state right. and yeah. shit like that. So the reason you and like so for example, if I wasn't if I didn't have a business license, big fucking deal. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like podcast, t-shirts, fucking whatever. I don't really need one. I do it because of the simplicity of it and the way I run things, but in a sense like 
you would essentially have to claim what your income was for the year right. through the IRS. And it'd be just basically 10, 1090. Because regardless if I had a business license or not, I would still have income coming in and it would be reported. I mean, so you they, could label it as like a, when you report your taxes, you can be a hobbyist. You can put it as well, that. The you issue. Sole proprietor. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. like so yeah. when I first moved to Olympia and opened the office down in Olympia, I was yours a sole is, proprietor. Yours though. is different though, because, uh, and I'm well, not going to get into, but you have, yeah. you have to have licensing in yeah. a way, right? You well, have, there's the profession requires licensing, but the business also requires licensing in there Olympia. When I first went down there, I was a sole proprietor and then I incorporated in like 2015, yeah. 2013, excuse me, like to an S corp. If you didn't know, he's in the male porn industry. <laughs> yeah. Um, but business once, <laughs> once I incorporated, I started getting invoices from the city of Olympia going, okay, congratulations. Thanks. Glad you're a business. Now here, pay us $500 a year yeah, to yeah. be here as an association. And so you're on the grid more. And I don't know, like, I guess I could have stayed a sole proprietor to your point, but I don't know. Yeah. Cool. Well, no, well, it, you're, it mm -hmm. has to be some things like you can't do a restaurant because it's right. You have to have like health, Mm. certificates to i mean you could you could just go this is now my house everybody can come here and blah blah, blah. yeah but then you run the risk of getting in in trouble with different ways but uh liquor you can't because that's a federal sure thing. that's what i was thinking i was like how do these fucking restaurants and yeah. businesses or restaurants and fucking bars and shit how do they they yeah just like told like, the clothes and it's like because they legally they can't serve yeah they alcohol run, they run if, the risk of like the local government is going to work with the federal government if, if yeah. these mass mandates aren't followed and then they're serving inside and they're like, okay, we'll just take away their liquor yeah. license. We'll take away this license. Now you can't fucking make money at all. Yeah. Whereas so we're, and then I, cause I relate shit to me and we talk about business quite a bit. Um, it's like, we're with me. It's like, you can't stop me from like, they couldn't. Yeah. You have to shut down. It's like, I don't have any fucking foot yeah. traffic. Like, what are you talking yeah. about? My balls are in a vice. I mean. Um, the only thing they could get me on is if like I'm fucking using t-shirts for fucking cum rags and then I'm shipping them out. To me. <laughs> Which may have happened. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, it, funny funny yeah. story. Uh, I, I had a huge custom order one time. Yeah. And back in the day when I used to just fucking be a print monkey nonstop, like, um, I may have spilled a whole beer on a fucking order and then <laughs> ran it through the fucking Sun dryer. heat press or the, the dryer again. <laughs> Why does it smell like beer? Like, Hell yeah, yeah. These are military boy. dudes. He gives a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're anti-vent. I'm like, you goddamn right I'm anti-vent. That's funny. Yeah. Um, he didn't sound very amused. <laughs> that's uh, funny. No, like, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking funny, David. Laugh. You me. are funny. <laughs> um, yeah, like where's the line drawn? Like if you wanted to just open up, like a, a listen, I'm gonna this thing's open for the business. It's in my garage. Who are you talking to uh, right you, now? You. You looked over there. I'm you just I'm over thinking there. as if there were cameras and lights <laughs> over there. Listen, I'm not. You broke the fourth um, wall, David. No, Fuck but, you. but like, where, where's the line drawn? Like, let's say you wanted to have like a little bar in your garage and say, you know, this is for the neighborhood. They pay me money and we all have a drink here. You would have to turn it into a private club. Yes. Yeah. You'd have to have that liquor license. You still would need the yes, license yes. to sell liquor. It's still federal on any level. Okay. Well, then let's just turn that into. It's just say, like it's like if you were having a fucking speakeasy, right? Like the government yeah, right. would come and smash your yeah, fucking if house. Yeah. If you had your Crazy. own, like that's what it is. A speakeasy, right? Like a fucking backyard. underground. Yeah. It's interesting though. Like what we allow. You know what I mean? Like you're allowed to come into my house, bust up my garage with alcohol and beer, and I, all my neighborhood, the people in my HOA. That come here and pay me Those money. Those would be the – you fucking talked about it. Those would be you the brought fucking, it up, you son of a like bitch. That's like fucking They're the ones tell telling everybody I have herpes. <laughs> <laughs> like, but let's say you were cool with your HOA and the people in your HOA. Fuck, I hate them. I hate it. <laughs> but, you know. Those would be the yeah. first motherfuckers, dude. Yeah. No, like if if I'm a fucking in my garage and I'm fucking – I've got the, the garage door up a little bit. Yeah. You see those motherfuckers looking their in. It's like get the fuck away from my fucking house. Yeah, you but – cunt. Let's say you had a good relationship with them, and, and they didn't try to run you they, over. They're willing they were to pay. Trying to find out who they were and take a picture. Well, okay, <laughs> five dollars for a thing of beer. You know, you know. I don't know what what the, the, it's the ATF, right? The, the yes, the, yeah, what about the ATF? It's not like they're coming <laughs> with a fucking. They're only listening to us now. Charges and what does play, the ATF play do? Dudes on vacation and go <laughs> boom, crack it off. <laughs> 
slacking off. <laughs> um, just strapping C4 to No, I'm, I'm, try, I'm just trying Mike's to garage. understand, like, where the line is with, you know, what you're allowed to do. And it's weird that you're not allowed you're to, trying, like, You're trying to see, like, when is it acceptable to have a bunch of alcohol and weapons in your house and then when <laughs> cops come to your door shoot them in the fucking face is that no, what you're asking no what no is that, what I, is that I, line I'm, I'm i'm like he's saying where do these patriots draw the line yeah <laughs> no i mean like was it you that asked me the other day you were like um god i forgot what i was saying now. Um, <laughs> it's okay oh i forgot it damn it you, you, you i think it was you that brought it up um i bring up a lot uh, of stuff maybe it'll come back to me um no but like what's it's, the line that's what you're saying like where's the line well, it's, it's weird that we have this liquid substance that we are not allowed to drink in public and walk down the street. You know what I'm saying? Correct. It's very strange. You know what I mean? Hard alcohol, beer, whatever it is, right? I know I'm making a, a an argument for public intoxication, <laughs> yeah. but but it's weird that we let the overlords... Hmm, stop talking to me. J-Rod. Jacob! He's not going to listen to this, but fuck you, Jacob. You're not even <laughs> He'll on never hear. Podcast. He doesn't care. <laughs> Just joking. Continue. Bro. No, I mean it, it's weird that we let overlords do that. Like it's just seen. It's very strange. Uh, I mean, you know? it's it's been in stepping on your toes, your hands, your fucking neck mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. from decades, right? Hun- yeah. probably a hundred years now. Yeah, it's been like that. There's yeah. the freedoms are slow. And you you know how it all away. started with prohibition was started with a bunch of uh, wives that came together and petitioned Congress. I think it was to because their husbands were all coming home drunk <laughs> and they, they they were like, this is the end of the family unit as we know it. Our husbands are is drunk. That true? That's exactly. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, prohibition. prohibition yeah. At, like you, the well, OK, look, it. I may be wrong. I'm, I'm just maybe talking out of my ass. But... Against women. No, I tend I'm to forget <laughs> about history when I'm fucking shit yeah. hammer drunk. <laughs> but, you know, it's weird that we allow this stuff. And I'm only thinking about this because we're allowing, you know, the governor to come in and just shut down businesses and say, hey, you can't operate. Like, it's just strange. Well, like, very soon after, very soon after mm-hmm. the revolution, mm-hmm. you know, taxation without representation is why the U.S. Mm-hmm. got into it. Britain was like, fuck off, fuck mm-hmm. the king. Mm-hmm. Um, very soon after that, there was the Whiskey Rebellion. Mm-hmm. And the Whiskey Rebellion was about whiskey they were the sure. u.s government was like we right. are in fucking debt we're broke as right. shit we need to tax something mm-hmm. so we can get money so, for our government so the first one was about taxing tea imports and then Correct. the second one second was the, one right. was in-house yeah technically because they were making the whiskey sure in the u.s and right, they were right. like well we need to tax something let's tax let's tax whiskey because everybody yeah. drinks it mm-hmm. so the whiskey makers were like fuck off right that's the same thing we just fought over right so there were some deaths. Right. Ultimately, the U.S. government won, unfortunately mm-hmm. for the whiskey makers. But that was the whiskey rebellion. Mm-hmm. So that's the last time that that's Turn happened. Your I fucking think. phone. God up. damn it! <laughs> you guys are making it a thing. <laughs> um, You're the only one whose phone has been going no, it, off it, this whole time. It, 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 yours not at all. I don't your shit remember. I don't. Hilarious. I didn't hear anything. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're a liar. Um, <laughs> There's no liars in this house of learned doctors. <laughs> um, yeah. It's so. It's like. I, we sound like a bunch of hardcore extreme right wing, like you know. No, I. But just stating history. No, I got you. But but like it, it's it's what the people allow to have happen. The people. You know what have we gotta to start saying it. instead of left right wing and right wing? Like, mm-hmm. there's only two options, right? What about goddamn dorsal fin? There's got to be something <laughs> else. What do they Tail call the feathers. center? You Tail extremist feathers. dorsal fin. <laughs> you the backside feathers. You're the back. <laughs> the so what? Feathers. So who does the I'm backside the prime vote for? Feathers. <laughs> Dorsal fin. That's what we're going to say. Libertarians or yeah. dorsal fins. A bird, a giant bird with a fucking <laughs> shark fin. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the solution is. I don't know. Is. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, what do you think, Mark? What do you think is going to have to happen? What, what do I think to has to happen? Yeah. There's nothing that has to happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, there's things that will happen and there's things that won't happen, David. Mm-hmm. Nothing has to happen. I think that there's a lot of fucking shit going to go down over the next few days because yeah. of all the crazy political mess that is going on in our country, but mm-hmm. that's way the fuck over there mm-hmm. and at the Capitol what, where we're not. What's going on with the... <laughs> I mean, I just talked to my ex-wife. She said the this is like the end of days. She had that shotgun. Like, so she's, so she's, <clears throat> what is happening in the next few days? Is it, is it just that shit that's happening? So tomorrow, today, today is the Georgia runoff, Senate runoff elections. Okay. okay. I'm and looking that, at any of this stuff. So the Senate elections, the Senate elections will dictate whether the left or the right controls the House. Imagine okay? fucking Trump wins, dude. <laughs> so here's the thing, though. So 
if the Democrats win control the House. Oh, this is for the Senate. This is for yeah, the okay, Senate. Okay. If Democrats win control the House, then they control, as of right now, what they think, the House, the Senate, and Which is the presidency. never happened, right? Oh, it has. It has? Okay. Barack, Ob- Barack Obama had okay. all three for a period of time. Uh, however, they weren't as fucking liberal <laughs> back then. So yeah. they weren't trying to fucking grab up any piece of freedom they could. Uh, now, on the other hand, they're fucking taking away anything they can yeah, just to appease those small groups. So Georgia Senate runoff, sorry, it wasn't the House, it was the this, this Senate race. Uh, it, it will lead to whether, they already control the House, but this will dictate whether they control the Senate or not. Because if the Republican senators win, then it'll be balanced according to the two-party system. But if Trump comes in and fucking pulls a miracle and, you know, tomorrow on the 6th when they, they count the electoral votes, mm. then that that would be, sorry, uh, Mike Pence would have to decertify the fraudulent votes, right? Mm. So he'd have to say, we're not going to count this these states, these uh, contested states, because there were fraudulent elections in these states. So if they don't count those those states, Trump wins. Hmm. But so this could be a fucking mess in the next. A few huge days. fucking mess. Well, by tomorrow, right? Because people will say that's unconstitutional, even though it's constitutional. People don't know history. People don't know government civics. They don't know the rules. They don't know the rules. rules. Well, I mean, how they will. Be, yeah. The the left will fucking go nuts and mm-hmm. burn the shit down. That's mm-hmm. just how it's going to be. But if like if Mike Pence is pussified and is like, I want to run for president next time, so I'm not going to do that. Mm, his own ambition. Then right? the then the left controls everything. Has he indicated that he's interested in becoming I president? I don't think so. Right? What vice president hasn't? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> How many vice presidents have made it to the president? It's only like two in my lifetime. I mean, well, no shit. Yeah, Bush. Your lifetime is Bush and <laughs> this much, David. You're well, this since eighty two. So Bush and but Biden are about the only two. You remember the ones from when you were four years old? Yeah. <laughs> Ronald Reagan wasn't anyone's vice president. Okay. Hmm. Who was Ronald Reagan? Oh, that was Dan Quayle. Ronald Reagan was an actor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but um, so what you're saying then, and I'm just a layman, right? I'm, I get all of my political ology from you, um, is that my assertion in Biden winning the election is still up in the air, right? Correct. I mean, it's not, nothing's really final. Nothing's set in stone until, until the tomorrow. 20th. Oh, the 20th, okay. The 20th is when they say president loser (laughs) you know but when they count the electoral votes it's tomorrow and they say okay here's what's going to happen the inauguration is on the 20th they can extend that inauguration further out if if pence says fraudulent 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 and then we have to get these electors these state electors from the entire country each state has one vote or however many it is um Mm -hmm. and then trump will win automatically because that's uh most of the state electors are are republican in that case so there's, it's a very odd situation, and that's happened once before with Thomas Jefferson. Mm. Thomas Jefferson called the House, or not the House, the state electors, because he didn't like the, at the time he was vice president, uh, which he was the president of the electors. So he decertified the vote because he didn't like the outcome, yeah, a little, yeah. and he became president. And you know what? He was one of the greatest presidents. He's a founding father. Yeah. Greatest presidents of our life, yeah, this is, this of is our country. Different time, though. Different too, time frame. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But I don't know about you, but I've been but, traveling through time for the past <laughs> but millennia. It can happen, and people are like, "No, that that can't happen." Yeah, because it can CNN absolutely said so, happen. Right? Yeah. It could absolutely happen, right. which is fucking nuts, but it could happen. Yeah. Wow. Well, we're about to find out, son. So if Pence had a huge out. set of balls, he'd be like. So when Fuck you mean, off, when you mean what, so for like the average <laughs> listener who may be just listening, so when you mean a set of balls, meaning he has got to get over his own political <clears throat> ambitions, right? Correct. To, yeah. Okay. Correct. And that would, and really support his own presidency. The problem is president. that so many politicians nowadays are so afraid of the opposing side, mm-hmm. meaning the right is afraid of the left sure. and what they think of them, mm-hmm. that they will be like, well, I don't want to do this because it'll cause violence. I don't want to do this because mm-hmm. places will burn. That's why he has to have a huge set of balls and be like, you know what? The tree of liberty has so, got to have some fucking blood. So you're, you're, <laughs> you're saying too, though, like there is a factor involved where they know that the cities will burn. You think that's factoring into the equation? A I, bit? I completely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm. I think, I think that will factor into their, their decision making process. Yes. And why wouldn't it? You know? I, yeah. I, I think, uh, 
I think it's they crazy. should throw a temper tantrum and get their hands. So snapped. that is why there's going to be unrest because yeah. there's, it's a fine line between the fucking dumbass two party yeah, system. I, I think that's I think the average leftist though thinks Biden won and they're fine. Oh, like, they I haven't, complete, I'm not, yeah, yeah. But what happens yeah. if it goes down oh. that other side? They're gonna yeah. flip shit. Yeah, hundred percent. And then they will say, "Oh, Trump is a dictator." Oh, it'll be yeah. They'll, they'll call for an, a complete revolution of the entire yeah. electoral system. Yes. Yeah, and <laughs> it's a racist system that's in. Yeah. You know. And that's that's bigotry. all we'll hear about for the next four years. Well, it's not like we haven't <laughs> been hearing it anyway. Fucking this is true. Four years. It's very true. Um, Ancana is a CBD company. Uh, they make all kinds of CBD products which help people get over shit like anxiety, aches and pains, and general bullshit of the world. On Canada takes the edge off of life. Everybody's talking about CBD. There's a lot of great companies out there. But if I'm going to pick a company to put in my fucking body, I'm going to choose Uncana. You know, you go to Uncana.com, you use code VIOPRO, you get 25% off of your, all of the CBD products. At least go there and research. They got plenty of information, some fact sheets, the data on how pure and safe their product truly is what do you have to lose kids go check it out on canada.com and make sure you use viopro at checkout for 25 percent off your entire order of cbd hey where'd you learn to be such a like an astounding politicalologist i'm not <laughs> I he just, barely knows anything about you <laughs> for a man said. who gets up at 2 a.m. to go to work and come be so done. I get up at 12:30. 12:30, like yeah, like you got a lot of like you know what's going on. I just have a I'm the professor of random knowledge. Yeah, okay. This like, motherfucker knows what hear, time you, it is. You want to know some random knowledge? Mm. Have you ever heard of Mel's Hole? No. Well, tell us so, about Mel's Hole. <laughs> so Mel's Hole, y'all want to hear about Mel's Hole? Does Mel know he looked at his hole? No, I have never looked at Mel's hole okay. actually, but we should go. We should all go find Mel's hole. Mel's hole is this hole in Washington State. I don't okay? want to go there. It's a big hole. <laughs> You're right here, Mike. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Mel's hole. We're in hell right now. It's actually it's actually near Ellensburg, mm. or so. Mel's yeah. hole sounds as if it smells of mothballs. Yeah, it might. It's an old Who name. Knows? Mel. Mel. Old Mel. Um, it's like back in the 1800s or something. No, sorry. The story came from the 1800s about this hole being near Ellensburg, like so many miles east or what? Fuck, I don't know. I'm going to look this up real quick. Anyways, Mel's Hole is said to be like 80,000 feet deep, okay? It's, Jeez. That's what they. That's what this person has measured so far using- 80,000? 80,000. 80, how, how big, could, how far so, could you so go? So listen, he stopped measuring at that point. Because <laughs> it's supposedly bottomless. Okay, right? sorry, Mark. Just so, I don't, no, yeah. it's, bold, it's Wait, not bottomless. Well, Mark, Mark, back up. So the hole is like man-made, right? Is that going back? No. Okay. No. I'm a little. Nothing says stuff. I got it right here. So Mel's hole, and this is this this could be a complete urban legend, could be bullshit. But I've heard this story. I heard this story when I was young, and I read it in a book. Okay, uh, about what there's this thing about weird places in Washington. Okay. And I just looked it up again. It says, according to an urban legend, an allegedly bottomless that pit case is dope. Sorry near, near Ellensburg, cool Washington, case. claims about it were first made on... Oh, okay. So it was first made on a radio show by a guest calling himself Mel Waters. Uh, later investigated. Uh, there's no credible evidence of the hole exists. Of course, people would say that if it really did exist. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. Well, this doesn't exist. Um, are you, I'm reading it to you. Yeah. No, I'm just fascinated, dude. I'm learning. <laughs> The legend of the bottomless hole started in February 21st, 1997, when Mel, Wa Mel Waters appeared on a radio show. <clears throat> Waters claimed that he owned rural property nine miles west of El Ellensburg in Kittitas County, Washington, uh, that contained a mysterious hole. According to Waters, the hole had an unknown, de unknown depth of, 80, 000, of at least 80,000 feet. He claimed to have measured the depth using fishing line and a weight, although he still had not hit bottom by the time 80,000 feet of line had been used. He's just bored one day. <laughs> How long would that take <laughs> to hand over hand with oh, fishing? I don't know, 80,000 He probably had a, of... like a, a big reel or something. So think about like, this, God though. God damn so, it, Ellen, I'm going out so there today. <laughs> what I read back when I was a kid in this book was that there was <laughs> he's like- He's so bored in his marriage. He's like, I'm going to go measure that hole. <laughs> Fuck this I heard, shit. I heard these, these things as a kid that there had been like 120 cars, 
five thousand tires, like all this shit thrown in this hole Damn. and just disappeared, right? And it, so there's like old timey shit where they're just like, put that car in there. Yeah, <laughs> let's see how many cars we can push in the hole. Um, put a Chevy in there. So Mel Waters claimed that the hole had magical properties. Like they threw some dog in there, and then they found the dog like <laughs> later on alive. Like it was a dead dog they threw in the hole. They're like, oh, the dog was hit by a car and throw it in a hole. And then, like, six it was days a, later. It was a golden retriever that they threw in there. It's like, oh, my God, there it is. One of the most common dogs ever running around. So, the according, to Waters, yeah. according to Waters, the, ma- the hole's magical properties prompted prompted the U.S. federal agents to seize the land and fund his relocation to Australia, where he lived. Get out of here. We need you out of here. Yeah. You've discovered like, we're gonna take over. We're going to take over your fucking hole. Right. <laughs> And you're gonna go move to Australia. Operation Sycorax is in effect. It's funny, like the uh, how the government will yeah. have like. See, this is where like the government is too inflated. Like the mm-hmm. uh, what is it? The Skinwalker Ranch, where mm-hmm. they devote all their time to paranormal yeah. activity, and mm-hmm. it's like three people, and they just throw yeah. millions of dollars at <laughs> yeah. it every fucking year with no end in sight, yeah. and they're just like. Yeah, they're we like the government will never say anything about it, and they they will take over portions of the United States where people are like, "There's this bottomless pit I put fishing line in," and they're like, "We need that. Get the fuck out of here, and don't stop at the the coast. Go all the way to fucking Australia. Yeah. You don't belong here anymore." Uh, so what did you find there, Mel? Yeah, I don't know. It's an interesting, interesting story, though. Can you yeah. imagine? Who should go out there? They 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 talk about like a hole being that deep would actually collapse in on itself, which I get, you know, you're, Mm. you're you're thinking about science and, you know, uh, physics and all that stuff and how a hole that deep would have to be extra wide. Maybe it is. Who who the fuck knows? I don't, I've never seen it. They have that, um, that hole in, uh, Russia that they man-made and they put like miles and miles Mm, and and they can't go any further or something like that. Mm. That hellish pit. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, should we go pretty out there? Crazy. I want to go out there. I, I don't know. There was like a in nineteen no two thousand in two thousand six and two thousand seven they had like a a group of thirty people to go out and try to find the hole oh. and they couldn't find it. So oh. maybe maybe it's covered up by some CIA like crazy yeah. green screen thing going. <laughs> I'm just fucking. Yeah. It's like a shed on top I, of it. It's maybe where, it doesn't that's where exist. The moon landing was filmed. <laughs> do you know it what was the inside the diameter hole. of the hole was? <laughs> like, do you know how big it was or about as big as an anus? No. I don't know. I have no <laughs> fucking idea. A tight know. anus and a walnut in the center. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It's an interesting story. Yeah. That's what it is. It's a guy underground with a breathing <laughs> tube and it's his butthole. His ass is just like, sticking up. People are like, there it is. Well, let's let's, let's see how many cars we can push. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to bring it off. They're like, who said that? <laughs> oh, here's a oh. hall. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh. <laughs> he spit that dog right out. Yeah. <laughs> That dog was dead, and then when they put it in his asshole, Mel's asshole, <laughs> magical it fucking asshole. came back alive. It was like I'm not fucking, I'm not fucking spending my afterlife here. Good old Mel. He's got a phone underneath ground, and he's like, "Yeah, there's this mysterious hole. Try and find it." Oh. <laughs> All fucking gay on the, shit, radio, right? on the radio show. <laughs> uh, Nothing could satisfy Mel's hole. No, it's ever ever enlarging. He's like, you'll never find it. <laughs> Government's like, we need to find it now. <laughs> we need to probe it with as many things yeah. as we can. Huh. But I mean, huh. you think about this this concept of Mel's hole being a large pit, right? And you hear these conspiracy theorists talk about large pits just like that, like at the at the North Pole and South Pole, mm. and that they like flew planes into it and there's like an inner world inside the fucking oh, earth, damn. right? There's con- there's conspiracy theories about that. Um same concept though, like a, a bottomless pit, right? If you're gonna go all the way through, what if they're just dropping shit in Mel's hole and it's coming out the other side? <laughs> you know, <laughs> so there's like some pile of shit on the other side. That'd be that's yeah. an interesting concept. I don't think it fucking happens. I think but, humans you know, have always tried to get to the center of the earth. <laughs> it can't happen, but if it, if it did happen, there's like there's this fucking giant hole in China. We're just throwing d- <laughs> trash in there. There's a car fucking fucking smashing Chinese people. And they're like, oh, oh fuck God. you, America! Oh. They're like, we give you coronavirus. <laughs> So, so if there's like yeah. some inner inner earth inside, you know, there's like a civilization, there's an inner, inner and we're core. just we're just fucking throwing our garbage down this pit, and it's just landing and destroying their shit. Mm, they're gonna <laughs> yeah. take over. I don't know. Um, feels like we could probably get like a probe down there if it existed. You fly you know? a drone or something. Yeah, something. Like Kirk, what, who who went to Mariana's Trench or whatever? Mariana's Trench. Mariana's Trench. Uh, James Cameron, I think. Yeah, yes. like he actually 
went down there and it had never been down there. I feel there's like you nothing there's here. there's been like very few people that have gone to the bottom of, yeah. of the trench. I don't know if they've gone all the way to the bottom. What's the depth of that anyway? Oh, deep. Almost, it's, it's, it's about the, as deep as Mel's. Don't you bring Siri into this, dude? How deep is the Mariana Siri? She's not going to listen to you. 6.8 miles. Uh, cool. Like <laughs> no. She didn't even tell you how deep it was, that fucking Hold bitch. On. Hold on. Put it up to the <clears throat> microphone when you do it next time. How many feet are in 6.8 miles? 35,904 feet. And what was That's the... not as deep as Mel's Hole. <laughs> Mel's Hole goes three times. At least 80,000 feet. I don't Mel. believe Mel's Hole exists. <laughs> Yeah, where are they getting eighty thousand from? Like from Mel, where are you dude? getting eighty thousand feet of fishing line? You could buy eighty thousand feet of fishing line. You'd be you'd the be like place robbing where you every learn retailer. How to lie to everybody and convince the government to buy your shit, <laughs> yeah. kick you to Australia. If you bought like, eighty thousand, send me to Australia. If you Australia bought, to sell his property. If you yeah. bought eighty thousand feet of fishing line, the government would be looking at you for some weird. Oh, reason dude, anyways. they'd be like, "What is he doing? <laughs> what the fuck is this guy doing?" <laughs> <H-E-F-F-E-I>. civilian. <laughs> you can't do. You can't simply do stuff. We, like when I go to the fucking grocery store and I buy up all of the Nyquil. It's like I always get questioned. <laughs> <laughs> FBI sends a letter. I buy glassware and NyQuil, and they always are like, "What the fuck I are you buy doing?" A I'm Bunsen like, burner. I, "I just ah. can't sleep. All the strike force energy I drink. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get to sleep." Can a guy just buy NyQuil? Smell like yeah. chemicals. Oi, oi, oi! Why did you buy all that fertilizer from Home Depot? <laughs> I have a huge garden. <laughs> I have a pumpkin patch. What's that? What's that U-Haul truck in the back? <laughs> <laughs> now we're just telling people how to make explosives, <laughs> like. And fucking meth. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get phone calls. <laughs> um, it's all right. Your phone's on silent. Yeah, yeah it's dude. On silent. Right? Yeah. yeah, it is now. <laughs> um, yeah, like that's another question. Like, what is the? <laughs> I know I'm incriminating myself. Like, incriminating what? How many bottles of bad? Robitussin do you can you buy until you're you get incriminating a letter yourself? From what the... do you, wait, go back, go back. I think they limit back, you at the store. They limit you at the store. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't think you can buy like more than here's, two. Here's here's something that they don't limit you on. <laughs> is I saw a dude buying a fucking uh, what are those? The propane containers from fucking uh, Home Depot. He had a cart full of them, and that dude oh, shit. He had scabs and shit all over. It. He's like. <laughs> oh, nice. Pushing his cart with one hand, well, just dude, like he's, he's probably homeless, and he yeah. saved up all his all the all the, the money shekels. that he got from the fucking street corner, or yeah. maybe just a quarter was, of it, <laughs> and went to went to just purchase that because that's how he heats his tent, you know, and gets high. <laughs> Propane coffin, <laughs> or he's making meth out there in the woods uh, in his yeah. fucking tent. Yeah. <laughs> God, what are they gonna do about that? Shit's grown. Oh, are we They're talking about gonna... homeless again? Uh, he's just... he he went there. I'm sorry. I just... we have like five episodes where we talk about euthanizing homeless. every homeless person. <laughs> oh my God. Like I don't know what, what else we beat that now dead she... homeless person enough. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, it's weird. Like. <laughs> Robitussin and homeless people. <laughs> That's what this episode's Propane cause tech. is getting called. Robitussin? Yeah. Robitussin. Sponsored by Robitussin. I, how many bottles of Robitussin can fit in Mel's hole? Ping Pong Tactical is a tactical hard-use gear company out of the Pacific Northwest. They have a plethora of holsters and accessories as unique as you are built to your exact specifications. You want a holster with a dragon on it? Maybe you want a holster with two dragons intertwined looking back at you. Well, if you want that, they got you, son. You want a place to put your screaming keys so they're easier to locate when they scream at you? They got you as well. You got a weed rolling tray, man? No? Would be a lot cooler if you did, man. Just ask Logan over at Ping Pong Tactical and he will hook you up with any codex your little black heart desires. So go check them out at pingpongtactical.com and use code VIOPRO at checkout for 10% off your entire order, man. Yeah, this this phone case is pretty cool. UAG. This is the one that they, they like dropped from space. Oh, wow. And it flew around and then hit the ground. And it survived. Pretty cool. Is that the yeah. one that certain someone popped out of his pocket? It was actually this smash? one. <laughs> yes. Well, I wonder if I can get one for mine. <laughs> I, I wonder. A phone case. I'm sure, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they make them for all not, kinds of phones. Not, not for people no, who no. buy excess amount of Robitussin. <laughs> <laughs> going to jail. Uh, how much you, was it? Just curious. <laughs> it was cheap. It was online. 
Oh, yeah. You can look it up. <laughs> it's this company called UAG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you, Is that how it if goes? you look up phone <laughs> cases, they pop up oh, okay. on your phone. Isn't that a weird concept? Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> I like your phone case, dude. Thank you. It's nice. It's I mean, it's okay. Nice. It's it was a phone case that I needed for my phone cuz my other one broke. Mhm. So. Mm. Um I told you guys to yell at me when I said um, by the way. Hey, Fuck. motherfucker. Sorry. I have this issue with saying um and like <laughs> And I want these dudes to fucking um, fucking police me on it. You're arrested, so sir. Fucking fiend you can't it. talk for five minutes. That's your penalty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're just silent because you don't say anything. No, I, I'm uh, yeah, I'm a barrel of laughs, guys. <laughs> no, so you're I'm not. High. So I. Uh, <laughs> Let's be honest. Hey, tell us something interesting. I don't know. I'm not interesting at all. <laughs> you are though. I'm the most. I just don't like when the record individual. button hits and you're like looking at the red button or looking at like, us. <laughs> oh. Um. No, it's crazy. You know, you, you <laughs> it's <not>. crazy, like. <laughs> no, I got like thoughts That's and ideas. Crazy. Like, so yeah. talk about them. I don't know, man. Like, um, you do know because you just said you had some. On. Would you let me flow? Here, you guys talk. I'm gonna go get another fucking. Uh, go get it. Thing. Go get it. And crispy. I got something to introduce to you, David. And it's gonna be. It's gonna be focused on you. He's bringing, I did he's bringing, this he's bringing not, a sex toy. Not removing your yeah. pants. <laughs> <laughs> I got him with a strap, giant dildo, and just fucking <laughs> smash him in the face. <laughs> Dude, we need to go to Mel's Hole, Mark. We do. We should try to find it. Like, I don't know if we're going to find it. What's the deal with, like, I know we're talking into the microphones, but, like, the podcast roadshow for 2021? It, it depends on when my knee surgery is, dude, because oh, I got to right. get a new fucking couple ligaments Do you know here. anything about the recovery time on that? <laughs> Unknown. I I haven't looked up the recovery time for a, a complete meniscus yeah. tear. Reconstruct. You don't reconstruct a, a meniscus. You can't like. Well, put what in place, is a so. meniscus anyway? Your knees like this, right? Yeah, right. <clears throat> it's the part that's in between those two, like the cartilage. Not this, so there's this thing like this, which is the ACL, mm -hmm. and then there's the two parts on the outside, which is your MCL and your LCL. Okay. So all those ligaments, and then in between here mm -hmm. and here <clears throat> is your meniscus. It's cushion. So mine, yeah, it's basically cushion. So mine is completely torn. Mm. So it pops out the front. Every time I bend my knee, it oh, hurts. hurts like a son of a bitch. Why, so it's not very comfortable to, why, to why, bend my leg at all. Why did you do that? Mark? I didn't fucking do it on purpose, David. It seems like you were very, <laughs> you were very just, irresponsible with your knees. Cut my meniscus out and just let it flop <laughs> out my knee. He's talking about his meniscus. Oh yeah, it the hurts weak, when I walk. About your weak genes. Yeah, my weak. No, I mean, it, I'm not saying your <laughs> DNA. I'm talking about the genes that didn't support you. <laughs> A weak pants. So, but you're not a pussy though. You'll recover quick. Uh, I've been right when it happened. I was like, "Well, yeah. I think I'm gonna need surgery." So I went and got it oh, checked, you, and they're like, "The day it hey, happened, hey, you need surgery, yeah, dude." Oh, I fucking, felt I that. felt it go, and I was like, "Yep." Were you at work <laughs> it fucking or went. Uh, It doesn't matter where I was, David. It well, went. Well, well, I'm asking though. Listen, Ellen and I is listening right oh. now. <laughs> we talked about him. All right, yeah. you son of a bitch. You don't think things through here, bud. <laughs> <laughs> he is disabled. <laughs> No, I came down some stairs, mm -hmm. and I turned left, pivoted too hard, too mm -hmm. fast, and blip, out it went, and I felt it just, <laughs> so that so now whenever I bend my knee, that meniscus is going like this, blip, Oof. blip, and it's popping back into place, and it just fucking hurts. Oy. I ain't no bitch. No, you're not, and I'm, I'm, I, I wish you a speedy recovery. <laughs> Thanks, man. And then we can go to Mel's Hole. We're going <laughs> to. And then do things. So, <laughs> so, so. These are for you, David. What is it? <clears throat> these are cards. You're going to take these and you talk about how you don't have anything to say a lot for whatever reason. There's questions on here that I have <laughs> randomly selected from the fucking internet. Okay. And I want you to fucking answer the questions. Okay. And don't just say, I don't know. Like, just you think yeah. about it. You're, you're banned from saying that word for yeah. the rest of the evening. Okay. <laughs> so, you were going to take this. Those, those words. And you're going to read this. And you're going to fucking answer the question. You have to read it the out loud. It's from the interwebs? It is. <clears throat> okay, here's question number one. Question number <laughs> one for me. Read it aloud. <laughs> if you kill someone, how would you get rid of the body? <laughs> the oh, fucker? they get much worse. Like, <laughs> um, Damn. I don't know. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Ah. You said it. I, I, I don't even I don't think like this, Mike. Dude, what kind know, of a Mike. podcast is to this? To your creative juices flowing. Uh, well, I'm not body. creative at all. What I will revert to uh, an episode. There's no, you're not going to get in trouble. For How would you, you do know. it? But uh, according to Ed's <laughs> manifesto, um, there is a high profile. Not, okay. Hold on. Let me finish. 
There's a high profile. Shout out to Ed's manifesto. Okay, I'm sorry. No, you don't have to be. Now you just. Right. I'm just, <laughs> just go ahead, dude. <laughs> there was a baker who lives in Mexico for the cartel. <clears throat> and this guy is accused of tens of thousands of people putting them in sulfuric acid for the cartel. And this guy is a baker by okay. trade during the day kind okay. of thing. You're crazy. Okay. So, yeah. So is that how you would do it? I you guess. That's that what baker. the question says. If you kill someone, how would you get you I, I, rid of the I, body? I, I, I don't know. I cannot. Uh, I don't know. God I, damn it. Yeah, here, give me another one. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Mark, you got some. <laughs> Mike, Mike is genuinely body. disappointed right now. <laughs> I am. I'm serious. He's it's very not, disappointed. It's not going well. Uh, there's several ways I'd try, I guess. I don't I don't know any this successful way because I've never gotten rid of a body before. Besides, I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> incinera incineration would probably be like the most successful, I would assume, because you can burn down a lot of it into like a small amount and then get rid of that somehow. Or maybe like the Mariana's Trench. Mel's Hole. I'd fucking take Mel's, Mel's Hole, dude. Oh, Mel's I'm Hole. for it. You guys are fucking dumb. It took you a while. We didn't use our own <laughs> content. Sorry. Mark is the smartest one here. <laughs> well, it took him a minute. I'll be honest. I, I was didn't thinking think of, of Mariana's hole. Trench and it led me back. Mel's Hole. You'd shove a dead body into Mel's tiny Real asshole. Real fucking hard, too. Okay. <laughs> Mel's Hole's five feet. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah. Here you go. Okay. Question number two. Number two. Here we go. Hey, did you notice that there's violent professional on the back? They're Mike, fucking professional. Mike, I see your. <laughs> okay. You didn't. I put fucking on it. hard work. You talk all I know about you all do. this fucking. Mike, this, this Mike, I know how much hard work you put in. Have you ever seen a Just ghost? If you like it, don't make it weird. <laughs> I do like it. Okay. It's very creative of you. Have you ever seen a ghost, a spaceship, or anything you couldn't <laughs> rationally funny. explain? Have you ever seen some weird shit, David? Women. What? No. no. What um, the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, actually, um, I, many, many, many years and years ago, I used to work for a certain theater that will go unnamed. They don't exist anymore. They don't. They, well, they them. don't exist anymore, but it, there's a location. <laughs> um, anyway, there, it, the theater itself goes back to like 1950, but it was very, so it's old. And on the second floor, there was an abandoned room that was just used for storage. Let me see this. You don't have to look at that. You can talk I'm just, to us. Well, I'm just thinking. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, you know, largely a lot of the upstairs is just completely abandoned and there's like a project, there's projection rooms and there's one guy that works up there and he, whatever, whatever, whatever. Right. It's just jerking off the whole time. Um, <laughs> and there was one time don't know what where I'm doing up here. there was a door that is not usually <laughs> open, but was open and. I'm sitting there looking at this fucking door. Wait a door. second. This is the plot of Yellow, Bl Yellow Brick Road. <laughs> Yellow Brick Road. Yeah. He's never seen that. No, I haven't. I'll agree no. with you. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm looking at this door. I'm, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? Why is this fucking door open? This is the creepy. And it's nothing but darkness and black, right? And it, it, the door is open maybe, you know, what, like 12 inches. And all of a sudden, I don't know where, the door just goes, boom. Opens That's more it. or closes? No, closed. Just slam shut. Just and you just shut. you just left it at that, like ah, fuck it, I'm not supposed to be here. That, yeah, I I was like fuck it, yeah, I'm not gonna. Hmm. There's nothing in there. It's dark. I'm just getting. There was no. It wasn't like there was like wind or anything. So what or, if there was a person in there just diddling themselves? There could have been. I, I don't know. I mean, I, that that's, that's a the rational most creepiest. explanation, yeah. right? So, An actual there's person spirits in there. in there. Yeah. So that's some weird shit that you saw. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. That was at the old. It's cemetery. now a church, by the way. Yeah. It is a church. So. <laughs> yeah. It's a recently remodeled. They still have those. Fucking they renovated up there? It. I don't know. I, I mean, it looks way, way different than it used to. Yeah. That's for Someone sure. should tell that church that the devil lives in that building. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard about when they first opened that, right? The wife of the, uh, this has made the news, the wife of the pastor committed suicide like the first I month. I did not know they that. They opened that place up. Wow. Yeah, it was crazy. But That's sad. Yeah. Dang. You wonder. Anyway, next question. I'm pretty sure that the microphone can't hear you, but let's go. All right. Yeah, when there you, you go. fucking whisper. Okay, I'm sorry. Mumbles. Next question. Would you rather be eaten alive oh, by wolves or eat another human alive? Wow. <laughs> Jesus. It's a, it's this is a, from the mind of Mike the right here. Tough questions. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I would rather eat another human than be eaten by wolves, yeah. Man. Yeah. I would eat That's like I would eat the, the the fat. Like the ass cheek or something. That would be Yeah. <laughs> you chose You the always ass wonder cheek. like well, what would good, you what would you question. eat? You hear you hear yeah. shit like because it's so macabre. Know. I can't. I don't. I don't. It's so know. macabre to eat another human being that, right. like, you hear these these legends and myths, like, oh, you gain their spirit, or you fucking get the shakes and you go fucking crazy and turn into like some weird shit, right? Mm -hmm. So, 
which is it? Like, yeah. You gain the ultimate strength or you get the ultimate fucking craziness. Well, according to Mike, the McRib <laughs> tastes like human. So. It does. <laughs> McRib is so actually you know my answer to that question. <laughs> oh, they make the let's get let's get on that. The McRib and and the, and it's the McRib is the 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 fucking uh, representation of everything that's dumb as shit and people just buy off on. That's a good point. It you know what I mean? Like there's right. people that are like. I'll just drink IPAs with 7% alcohol. Why are you adjusting and it's your like, shirt like You that? drink a ton of nutsack juice. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... <laughs> oh. Tightening is tight. No, I didn't, you know what I mean? Like We've yeah. had discussions about that before. That's what the McRib is because it is disgusting. If you can't get a nine-year-old mm. to eat a fucking McRib mm. and they're they're like on the verge of gagging, like they took a bite of it and they're like, oh, I don't want this. This is not supposed to be in my body. Mm. Like... It has the weirdest fucking texture ever. And I remember having, they would serve it in the fucking cafeteria in, in fucking elementary school. Mm. They would have those fucking things. You right, know? same it's texture. It's just pressed yeah. fucking bullshit. It's pressed human meat. And you would eat it. <laughs> Fake black lines in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like it was it's got this weird yeah. fucking <laughs> zipper fucking texture to it. But they make yeah. such a goddamn big deal about it every mm. single year at McDonald's, and people just fuck it. I even did it. He saw it on a commercial, and he's like, I want to get that McRib. That looks good. And I'm like, I haven't had one ever. <laughs> mm. But they keep and saying it comes back it. every year. Mm. And they probably last a few fucking, like a month or so or a week because they're like, yeah, we can't keep serving the fucking employees <laughs> that would not go away. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, have you tried a McRib? No, never. Go and try it after this, and you'll fucking know. know why I'm being so, so. I'm like, gonna tell you something right now. It wouldn't bug him. I'll eat it. I, mean, he would I, eat, I, it. I eat. I eat. Trash, yeah. I eat. Yeah, I, eat <laughs> <off the ground. laughs> yeah, I have no. I can. No I can stomach them, but I see your point. I do. It's like uh, it's my. It, it, I think what. So is it the marketing and the advertising is what bugs you the most? The response from people that it's like. Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's bad. Yeah, it's, it's bad. It's a fad. It's it's like yeah. a, a status thing, right? So it's it's. Kind of like wrap your mind around like people that eat escargot and fucking caviar. Mm. That shit doesn't fucking taste Goat good. Cheese. Yeah, you know they're eating it because it's a status symbol right. at that point. It's you know? it's it, it helps claim you up the socioeconomic. <clears throat> Not saying that the McRib is like some fucking fancy, right? Shit, like but a, the it, trailer park, but I mean. it's, it it creates <laughs> this stigma around it that's right. like, oh, I can eat this because everybody else mm -hmm. is doing it. It's a fad, yeah, right? Because yeah, humans are so tribal. But weird. people will eat it, and it's it it, it was basically flavorless, right? Like. Right. It's not that it was so putrid that it's like this. This tastes fucking horrible. It's like you you bite into it and the texture. It's like somebody took a bunch of Jello and just put like a drop it's of water and made it ass. into some fucking thing, and then it tastes like meat. I guess it's, it's meat. maybe it's, it's like hot dogs, but it's <laughs> rib hot form, dogs right? actually taste like something, <laughs> which is weird because it's just a bunch of weird shit just thrown in the fucking yeah. grinder. I saw this this little video clip of like. I don't know if this is real or not, but I'm going to try it because I have a microscope, right? Somebody chopped You're a hot You're a scientist? Dog. I'm a scientist now. <laughs> <clears throat> Somebody chopped up a little sliver of hot dog, put it under the microscope, and it showed like hairs and fucking metal shards, all kinds of weird shit inside the mm, fucking hot I'm dog still meat. still going to eat it. I'd still eat it. Mm -hmm. I mean, hot dogs, I had two hot dogs for, well, they were not real. Anyways, yes, hot dogs. Mm. <laughs> this is what I don't like about the fucking McRib. <clears throat> it's that... It's not that they're selling something that's bullshit because that companies do it all the time. Mm -hmm. It's not um, even McDonald's, right? It's McDonald's. It's not healthy for you. Right. It's if you, oh, well, I got the fucking salad. Uh, that's they just not say it's out for a limited time. So everybody fucking buys yeah, it up too. People will buy it. And it's not that the, like they're doing this whole marketing campaign to sell this fucking bullshit. It's that people will go get it and maybe they do like it, but there's no fucking way since I've experienced that thing this fucking month or this past month in December when he wanted to go get it. There's no way that people like that shit. Mm. It's not like I can drink IPA. I just talk shit. Mm. I don't like it. Mm. But I'm not going to go on a fucking rant about fucking IPA because it tastes like mm. a fucking bucket of earwax. And that may be the exact <laughs> reason why they only bring totally it back do. for a limited time. Because they know people yeah. will get tired of that shit. Mm. And then you yeah, leave the it out for a while. Of it, yeah. And it then you bring it back sales. and they're like, yeah. oh, I... I don't remember what that yeah. tastes like. I'm going to mm. go get it one. <laughs> it's, it, it, what annoys me about it is much like anything is when people lie to themselves and go, oh, the fucking McRib's back, and then they get one, oh. and it's like, oh, that was fucking great. It's like yeah. 
No, it wasn't. Let's <laughs> fucking be honest. It was not. It had no flavor, and it had the consistency of something that should not be in your mouth. You can you can go to. <laughs> it's kind of like a black can, penis. You it shouldn't go, be there. You can go to Walmart and get the like the banquet the banquet yeah. meals fucking any ribs. penis <laughs> any penis. What? You Sorry, can get the ahead. banquet meals ribs that are the exact same shape. And that's probably what they're doing is getting yeah. it from the same company and just throwing it on the fucking There's sandwich. One company that does it. Banquet, know. go look at it. Go look at it. Mm-hmm. Those banquet meals at Walmart. You, I walk. Mm-hmm. I walked down that aisle at Walmart today and I saw that shit. I'm not gonna lie. Right that in the fucking freezer. Looks good. I, I walk by. I've like, eaten uh, it. I've eaten that banquet, banquet meal before. But TV if you go, if you look at it, it's there yeah. and it's the same fucking McRib. Mm. <laughs> it's just not in a sandwich. So go. It's, just, it's like one. If you go to Tyson Chicken, they provide chicken for every fucking mm-hmm. chicken. Or chicken Factory sandwich, farming. chicken anything. Mm-hmm. Tyson Chicken. There's there's like three chicken companies that like rule the fucking world as far as mm-hmm. chicken goes. It's speaking nuts. of speaking of chickens, <clears throat> if you're getting eggs, don't stop and get the fucking grade A shit in the front. Mm-hmm. And it's like a dollar for a fucking carton of eighteen, right? I like those. Put like spend five more fucking mm-hmm. dollars, and I promise you, get the cage free. Oh yeah. Free range, That's not even do. not even <clears throat> fucking free range. They got to be cage free and for your age. Yep. Really? Yes. Life it's changing? so fucking worth it, dude. It is. It is. Absolutely. You don't get the, don't get the shitty eggs that come in. They only have yet. a few crate like crates of them up there because people won't buy them. Especially if you go to Walmart, you mm-hmm. like fucking so, people aren't buying that shit. But the next time you get eggs, right? You eat eggs all the time. Assume, right. Get spend yeah, more. Don't money buy on the it. cheap shit, dude. Spend yeah. more. Are money you just going to Costco? Yeah. Yeah. Those, don't do that. The pallet. Don't fucking do that. Spend <clears throat> more on it, dude. Yeah. It's the, fucking the brown. Like, I don't really cage free. Doesn't even have to be the brown ones, but they, some of them come brown. Yeah. Just as long as it's cage. It's cage free, free range. Like, dude, they're, if, even if they're cage. <clears throat> what's that? Do you like notice a difference? Absolutely. Oh, you like, taste color and everything. Yeah. You eat it. The color is more. Yeah. Color is way different too. Have you ever had? Up. Have you ever had? Duck you get like eggs? all the chicken stem cells no, and like shit in your I don't, body. I don't. Have you, you never had a duck I've egg? I've had duck egg. I don't care for it. It's a, it's just a bigger chicken egg. What? It tastes like fucking waterfowl. <laughs> what? Yeah. It tastes like waterfowl. Yeah. What the fuck does that mean? It means it tastes like a duck, dude. It's an egg. It's oily and shit. Okay. Okay. I'll leave it at that. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Have you ever had the urge to jump in front of a car? <laughs> <laughs> I did this one specifically for you. <laughs> no. Never had the urge. You're a liar. <laughs> You're right. Every week. I go. Have you been hit by a car? Ooh, I've never been hit by a I've car. I've been hit by a car. I've been, I have been hit by a car. <laughs> we have a whole episode. <laughs> yeah. It's where that trebuchet is from. Yeah. <laughs> Are we just going to go past that one? You're not going to discuss it? You don't have an urge? No. I mean, I, I've had an urge to jump in front of a car like... As a teenager, do some cool stunt or something like roll off the hood. Collect but money I never from did the city. It. Yeah, I'm like, man, that'd be sweet if I could do this, like an action movie. But no, never acted on it. So, which k- serial killer do you find the most fascinating? And that doesn't mean you admire or whatever. It's just like fascination. It's like, wow, that's fucking interesting. Do you know any serial killers? Um, Dahmer, I know you know some. Dahmer. Um. Charles Manson's not really a serial killer. No. No. That's a different thing. No. I don't what know. What fascinates me about that is that people, yeah. the, people think he's a serial killer. Yeah, he gets kind of thrown into the same category. Yeah. He, he never killed anyone, technically. Mm, Put your face up, in yeah. the mic, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, no, I don't, I don't find any. They're not fascinating. Not, I'm not saying fa- – is there anything about them that's like this, this person's interesting because of <clears> – <throat> Like H.H. H. Holmes. Wow, that guy's interesting because yeah. he had a fucking murder house. I'm interested in no, that, dude. No, no, I think yeah. that dude's fi- fa- fancy. Yeah. <laughs> he's pretty, a fancy no, gentleman. I when you have too many energy <laughs> drinks, you can't fucking find the words. He's he's fascinating. Yeah, it's, it's Because they say he story, might be – he's one of the candidates for Jack the Ripper. Oh, really? He yeah. has potentially killed the most people outside of, like, dictators that commit genocide. Sure. Well, there's – there's that's debatable because, like, there's – I forgot the guy's name. There was one serial killer that they tried to hang, and he survived the hanging, mm. but the dude had killed like 380 people or some shit. Yeah. Man, that, there's some crazy serial killers out there, but you got to look deep into the interwebs to find them, because mm. people don't really talk about them that much. So, weird question, but- You're you away sur- from the mic again. People can't. Sorry. <laughs> if, you, if you survive a hanging, like they- I'll, I'll just throw you back in a day. Okay. Oh, you mean they only get one chance to do it, and then you're well. They'll if you survive they'll, they'll it, you're try good to go. What's, what's weird about that is people survive <laughs> yeah. hanging. Like, just leave them there. 
<laughs> just leave them yeah, for, for a few for seconds a long, more. Like, be like, good, five there. minutes. Well, it's, so that's inhumane, though. You can't be inhumane when you kill someone. Hanging is inhumane. That's why they don't do it anymore. Hanging is oh, it's not, it's is not it allowed. allowed really? Yeah, it's, oh, it's just lethal allowed. injection. Well, I'm trying to think. Do, like, so the hanging, the the hangman's noose was based on the 16 wraps, right? And so it snaps your neck, and that's what's supposed to kill you yeah. when you fall down. Mm. But he just fucking went with it. He's like, yep, uh, and then fucking yeah, that, shrugged it off. It's happened many times where people survive that shit. But that, it's I like they're say- they're in their jail cell, just like. <laughs> fucking working that neck. <laughs> They're getting that neck nice and loose. <laughs> 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 I'm going to give it everything I got. And they fucking get there, that neck guy, you know? Now they made all the memes of like two years ago. Oh, yeah. Fucking neck guy. Yeah, that guy couldn't. You fucking, could never hang that guy. can't hang that dude. <laughs> yeah. it, he drops. He's just like. <laughs> Have, did you see the video of him with long neck? Damn yeah, long neck, dude. dude. They brought those two weird. together. The, you know who damn long neck is? The real oh, skinny white bro. guy with the long hair. He's. he's it, like his, his neck is super long. If oh, you haven't seen man. a fucking image, it's insane. <laughs> it's creepy. It's his, fucking his, insane. His arms and his legs are like yeah. this skinny, like no joke. Yeah. And then his <laughs> neck is like, wait, his his neck is like this long, dude. <laughs> Would you, Mike, who, when you say they brought them together? I don't know they? who they is, but it's something it's United amazing. States it's government. It's conspiracy. <laughs> the, the internet webs brought them together. <laughs> they brought them together. <laughs> <laughs> Who's they? Mark Zuckerberg. I'm interested about them. <laughs> the powers that be. <laughs> Look at these neck people. His his uh thing is damn long neck. <laughs> Thanks for the shout out, Alan. Forever, dude. I'm just gonna show you his fucking profile right there. <laughs> okay. Tap the fucking yeah, top it. thing. Okay. His name's Dan Longneck. It's insane, bro. What the? F- oh, gross, dude. <laughs> but his posse is way weirder. Oh, he got a weird fucking posse for sure. Oh, what the hell is? This? Oh, dude. Like he's really enjoying his internet celebrity yeah, and, though. And people oh, follow he's, him. He's ver he's verified. <laughs> Look at him, he's just getting strangled. His name's Dan Longneck. Damn long neck. <laughs> damn it's all like, damn. Damn, that's a long neck, neck bro. <laughs> I don't, like not know about this guy. With like two million followers. Like that's the first time hearing him. You follow him? No, but I know I've seen him. Look. Look how fucking yes. look at that shit. He's got that weird old man with yeah, him. Yeah, dude. He's uh He's definitely got something going they on. They do like internet pranks and shit. Yeah, he's a. Uh... What the <laughs> fuck? I don't even want to look at his shit. It's gotten wild. He used Talk to about be aliens like being on Earth with his underwear, <laughs> like with a bunch of other people. It's fucking weird. <laughs> but yeah, the, you, you've seen yeah. the dude with the huge. Yeah, the, right? the, the, they yeah. have uh, somewhere in there, but I don't want to look at it anymore. Mm-hmm. It's him and the, the fucking <laughs> wide neck. They're together. <laughs> wide neck. They did something together. <laughs> How do we talk about? It? How do we start talking about that? I don't know. Continue with. It's the one next of my question. brain ticks. I'm like, we're talking about Mel's hole. I'm like, hey, you see no, this guy with a neck? We're talking about serial killers, and it went to like ex- execution, yeah. next execution, oh, next execution, bro. <laughs> next execution. Here we go. Next question. Next question. <laughs> I think this is going to be boring, but here, let's see. Let's see what he says. If you could ask the devil a question, what would it be? Why the devil? <laughs> why not? Why? Because that was on the internet, and I just copied and pasted <laughs> okay. it out of that card. That's okay. why. Uh, if I could ask the devil a question, what would it be? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Fuck. So, hey, I'm. T- what would you ask, Mark? Is this how you this think? This is for you. I, I, you're just I like, don't have these thoughts in my know. head. Well, you have the question on paper, and you fucking read it. Uh, I would not ask your head now. the devil anything. I... Um, did he scare you when you went to that movie theater? <laughs> was that <laughs> you? Was that you, motherfucker? Yeah, oh, that's your other question. Like, <laughs> was that you? <laughs> I've come from the seven pits of hell for you to ask, ask me a question. Like, were you in that room? Were you that scary man? <laughs> I come from hell. Uh, I he goes you like this, this one question. David's like, like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he goes, <laughs> yes, I was. I was taking a shit. You were looking at my ball sack. <laughs> Uh, I think the current owner or the past owner of the theater was the devil. You remember her? She died. She ended up dying. No, I remember her. No, I don't. Why was she the devil? Well, she. What's well, the? You was that your old your boss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, remember her? That's. I don't remember her specifically, but <laughs> she was legendary. She she was known around town. No shit. Yeah, she was a she was a cruel woman. Wow. Yeah. So tell she, us more. She died. How'd she die? I or, hatred and old age. <laughs> She's a miserable <laughs> woman, dude. Yeah, I don't. Can you say people's names if they're dead? Like, I don't, what's the rule? You don't have to say their name. Oh. Would you, wouldn't you just tell us about it's her? It's free speech, dude. It's not like you're going like talking about her, like slandering her practice and business and shit. It's like 
Just saying she it's was like talking she about, was, talking she about was Hitler. She's legendarily. Violent, violent, but you, don't yeah. want, you also don't have to say her name. You could just talk about her. Yeah. But yeah. She was the manager of the old cinemas circa the 90s and early 2000s. And cinemas was, as in all of them? <laughs> the one that's in Lacey. <laughs> I, I'm trying to I'm just I'm trying to be ginger gingerly about so it. So what what happened to make her seem she like, was she was known as just a cruel person. She was I don't like understand what caused a, that though. Like, I don't know. You can just say somebody's a cool cruel person, but something had mm-hmm. to happen for that persona. I know to she be, she had been like fighting cancer for years and she was like <laughs> so she was cruel? she was mad bitter, and weird. she was a bitter woman, yeah. She was horrible. I'm sure I'd be bitter if I was fighting cancer for years. Yeah. I don't know. That's it's kind of yeah, she up. used to say you should call us idiots and everything. Well, were you being an idiot? Well, well we were, but I mean, you don't call kids that in high school. What? You know? What? I'm pretty sure like every teacher is called. She's their... just a normal fucking lady to us now. Yeah, yeah. What's she wasn't happened? the devil. No, she was. She was a. She was a bitch. For sure. <laughs> now, granted, that's a tough age too. Like, I don't know how I if I employed 35 fucking 18 year olds. Like, you know, that'd be yeah. 35 18 year olds. No. Yeah. Approximately. Yeah, Maybe she age. just got off on that. No, she used to hire people right out of high school. It's because no one would yeah. fuck her. She wanted to fuck all those 18-year-olds. <laughs> she was trying to entice you to go through that, that doorway, and you just didn't go. Yeah, she wanted know. you to open that door and go in and find out what the hell made that noise. And what she's was in black just... in there was her giant bush. <laughs> <laughs> Remember you said you spread your fucking sp- a spreader, super spreader. <laughs> she, was, uh, she was hoping you were gonna super spread that fucking ass, dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can say whatever you want, sneaky. David. You don't have to hide. Goddamn long neck, dude. Popped <laughs> phone. Fucking popped on my phone, dude. Did we not just give that guy a ton of fucking new followers? No, we no, didn't. He's got way no more followers way. than us. Everybody uh, probably already follows. They're like, oh, I know that guy. Yeah, <laughs> everybody's heard of him. Uh, I just went to Google and my top search is free porn. Free nice. porn, then business login. Shop free Aries porn clothing. business login. You find Aries is fourth of that list and porn is the top two. <laughs> no, I didn't find it. It's in my phone. It's like this is the top searches that I have. <laughs> and what are you doing I'm now? trying to do You mine. just looked at me. You just held my phone, by the way. <sighs> I was going to look at something, but I can't remember now. So, hey, check this shit out. My my son bought me this alien thing that from the it's an actual aliens, alien guys, and I like what it's doing right there. It's pretty awesome holding yep. the death sheet ahead. Yep, it's pretty awesome. It's gnarly. It's very violent. Put your never mind. <laughs> so what else we got today? Anything on the fucking mm-hmm. the <laughs> two hours plus <laughs> side of things? I don't know. How, how you feeling there, bud? I feel drained. <laughs> Why? What? What's going on in your life? No, I'm good. Uh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Nah. You like making weird noises away from the microphone, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to talk back here. Yeah, so how about them? <laughs> Bunch of how dead about air. that apples? <laughs> Whoa, cool schmog, bro. All right, David. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this was fun. We haven't we haven't done podcasts in a while. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm glad you were able to come here, David. You too. Indeed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Me too. It's like, it's, like, <laughs> it's like when you go to fast food or something. They're like, enjoy your meal. Like you too. Yeah. It's yeah. Like a, a mindless yeah. response. I've said that more times than I can fucking count. <laughs> I said it to someone recently where I was like. Lights out. That's time for That's fucking, the fucking devil the right fuck there, David. There, David, we're we gonna ask him. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for being here, yeah, David, Mark, me, and yeah, thank you, Mike. Thank myself for being yeah. here. <laughs> Anything else? No. Fuck you guys. <laughs> what? what?